Lake to test these bad boys out and meet a special guest. Alright, we're at the gas station filling up. I don't know if you can see this, but 8.59 a gallon some premium and awesome sauce. We're gonna be later than shit, but you know. It's all in the name of gas. You hear that Dude, sound? Look at, the, look at that. 1.9 gallons, 20 fucking bucks. You hear that sound? That's not the gas pump, that's Nick crying on the inside. 2.8 gallons, $26. Jesus Christ. It's all in the name of fun. Sorry kids, you can't go to college. I've been spending Eight dollars a gallon on fucking race fuel. Seriously, you know what? Yeah, that but it's so pristine. I'm afraid to drive it. No, no, no. Fuck it up. <laughs> well, I doubt that's gonna happen. Rip and rip it, baby. I mean, it is. It is. It is clean, dude. It's got. Oh, I can see that. It's got well, a new, I've, I've followed this. From, it's got a new tank. It's got everything. So the only thing I did was I kept this. I did not paint the inside just because I wanted some of the history of it. Sure. Right? So I kept this and I kept heritage, some yeah. stress marks in the boat on it. I didn't make it 100% perfect, but I made it. <laughs> I made it to where it has some of its heritage still. No, because it's fully restored. Oh man, it smells like it's brand new. Yeah. Holy shit. I don't know how We're ready. She's got eight gallons of 110 in it, and we got eight more gallons of 110 right there. Well, let's get started. There's like 200. <laughs> There's like 180 bucks worth of fuel over here. Right, you did remember a helmet for me, right? Hell yes, I did. All right, that's a, the only thing I'm uncomfortable with. That's perfectly fine. Really? Well, what happens you hit the water with a helmet? You're still. Oh, well, believe me, I'm talking about hitting your head on the handlebars. Yeah, right. Oh. You know, my my employees, they used to scoff at me about that when they were testing the boats. Finally, I had to lay the law down saying, you like if you're on the clock, you, you wear a helmet. You know, oh, I'm better than that, blah, blah. Yeah, it's well, insurance, right? It's insurance yeah, well, at that point. Two weeks after I made that rule, McCluggage was out practicing and coming into the pits, and he slipped and broke three teeth at his jaw. He was wired up for the rest of the summer. I said, now, if you're better than that? McCluggage, you can go out without a helmet on. This was years ago, but still. Man, you'd hate to want to get that motor Yeah, that, that was pretty sweet, too. Oh, I'll bet. No? Yeah, well, I saw your, your uh, build on it. Things that work are big fan, man. Yeah, it's, it's been fun watching you. Appreciate it. So yeah, is this a... Uh, a, a spec one or spec no, two? No, it's spec two. So you have to burn race gas in this thing. Yeah, too, so this right? is uh, this is mixed with um, some octane, <laughs> uh, the Sunco blender. Okay. So it's it's Holy running a, shit. it's running a hundred octane right now. So you turn and it's it on about seventy six with it. I don't know. It's the first time. Don't give me it. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> wow. So, yeah, first time for both. You must be nervous as a bar in church right now. I mean, I was pretty damn nervous the whole night, yeah. I mean, we either... I, I can't even read my own right now. I, I was care. thinking I could give you a signature no, and you could have a decal it. made. No way, All right. just sign All right. I will. So, oh, sign the sled. Yeah. yeah. It won't be a... I would say right here. No, I no he's got a, he's got a carbon fiber plate he made. Oh, okay. Yeah. That way it stays preserved. On the outside, that's, that's a great spot. You All want right. to hit the button? Give <laughs> give her fire it up, dude. Yeah, go ahead. Exhaust. Awesome. 
What do you think? I think it sounds pretty damn good. Yeah. Well, we'll find out out there. <laughs> we'll find out out there for sure. Custom, uh, I've done a million new engines. But like I said, there were times where we had to put pistons in right at between motors and the yeah, track. No time to break them in. Yep. God, I got a story I could tell you, but shit. Well, I got a million of them. But one time we made these uh, 970 conversions for the 97 XPs that came with the 800 and they were underpowered. Is that the VE or no? Uh, yes. Well, they were originally ours and VE. Yeah. We made them singles and VE made them a monoblock. Okay. But oh, yeah, you made Yeah, that's right. The same machinist that made, or the same foundry that cast our individual ones. Sold us out to this to be, which is that's that's neither here nor there. So we uh, we had Corey Rarick, Glenda, and myself were uh, contesting this uh, endurance series out west on the Colorado River. He's used Honda CR500 pistons in the motor. So uh, seems like freaking coffee cans. So Corey stuck the thing big time. And, you know, they had all different kinds of races, you know, oval, but the big one was the GP, which was really long and back. And they didn't want to give it up, and it was 100 degrees. So Corey and this guy oh, named Dale Vrank, who invented the Odyssey. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Those two guys started to take the motor out, and they said, you've got to find a piston someplace. So I drove around uh, Laughlin, Nevada, and, and, and found a Honda shop, and there was an old CR 500 leaning against the wall. He said, well, you're welcome to the piston in that. I, I, this thing ain't been running years. So, man, I got right on it. I tore it off. The piston was scuffed a little, but it looked workable. So I said, uh, you know, where's your, your hone tank? You know, we don't have a hone tank. Well, all right, well, where's your hone? Well, we don't have a hone. Well, what do you do? Oh, we just yeah, buy new cylinders. In, yeah. So I took a bucket of cold, soapy water and a... a, a, a a coarse sandpaper, and I scrubbed the, si all the, the cylinder, uh, uh, right, all Holy the garbage shit. out of it. Rinsed it off, ran back to the track. Honest to God, Corey made it to the line with about a minute and a half to spare. The whole time he's in this endurance race, I'm sitting on the shore with Scott Watkins, who was running Yamaha's race team, and he's saying, "Yeah, it's too bad, you know, your motor went. You know, his boys were all three, three boats were in front. Well, one by one, Corey ran them down, and right in front of." of Watkins, he put the final pass on a guy and he turned over his shoulder and gave him the look like, that's all you got, bro, and motored into the distance and we won the race. And that's I couldn't awesome. believe that piece of shit <laughs> made it to the finish line. Just a, a score, a scored, nasty ass pistol. I see you guys, yeah, I want to see you guys get your helmets on and... Charlie, when you're, when you're suited up, I want to take a picture in front of this. Program. Sure. Are you excited? Of course I'm excited. Hey, Dave, can you take like a picture? having yeah. a date with an old girlfriend. Yeah, dude. gonna cruise around and put some easy time on this thing from the beginning here. Yep. First time in the water, baby. It is the first time in the water. With none other. First ride. He's going pretty far out there. He's got to be like, he's got to be feeling like a kid in the All right, so we got one God down. Damn, dude, I can't believe it. Skin again, I can't believe it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he can fucking have it. Dude, he looks like a badass coming in, dude. Look at that shit. Oh, just kidding. Let it pot out a little bit. Warm, warm it up. Drive it, drive it. First time around, give it two? Yeah. Give it some throttle. Alright, it's good. Go. Let it rip. 
I got, I got it pretty rich. Well, that's what we want. Right. I, I want it to be rich so it doesn't blow up. All right, guys. So we got the skis in the water. Nick's out there uh, testing with Charlie. And uh, I'm back here on shore waiting for my ride. We're going to go get some shots of Charlie riding the ski. And then uh, probably we'll get some lunch. But so far, so good. <laughs> See what I mean? That could be pop off and it could be low speed uh, jets. I don't know for sure. I have a long time out of this stuff. But you know, when you start, when you, when you get on it on it, and you're you're out like for 10 minutes of back straight, and you're right before you come up, it has a lot of momentum and then it starts peeling back. You notice that? Well, again, that's where the tack comes in handy to see that. I think it's reading right now. What's that? I think it's reading correctly now. Because I was seeing 9,500 just cruising yeah, it's around definitely here. Not okay, well, if, if it's doing that, then that sounds like it's it's too lean on the big end. If it yeah. starts sagging at top top throttle. But I was just doing you know, like fake starts and you know, wah you know, wah 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 wah, wah and right. I, I never faded out on me, but I didn't pinch it off either. Yeah, when you when you hammer on it. I just blip it for like full throttle 10 seconds it has a lot of power and then it starts almost like you're not almost like you're losing pump from the fuel pump so i wonder if well, we fatten that, it up that's dangerous because it, it, if it's going that, lean if it's it leans out stick. it's done i wonder if we fatten it up i'll turn them in and see where it's at i'll count them and i'll see how far it's off from when we started all right well let's do that Hey, don't rip your arms off now! <laughs> it looks like it. Now, if it does, put right there. Because you probably could get even a little bit more if you keep leaning it. But if it's, it's exciting up. for you... We <laughs> only got one thing. So, I mean, if... if Take it for a ride. It's it's noticeably different now. It's clean right to the top. It's, and so it's, a, it's, still, it's still very hesitant off the jump but yeah, like, but that's but like you said we don't the port yeah we don't want like yeah that. exactly we don't want we're not building the rec ski no so are those the same cylinders that exact same no shit. exact same they Boy. they got i honed them i cleaned i cleaned up all the carbon out of it they're ported exactly how yeah, it left rick the shop. got rick every did single the thing is the same ports and they were spot on the money everything now here's another thing you seem to be interested in the, some of the lore of the old days so people used to copy our port timings, but here's how they do it. They just put the degree wheel on, shine a flashlight. When the port opened, they'd write it down and they would mimic it. But they were never as fast as ours. And the reason was they were missing the real subtleties, which is the angles. You angle the transfer port into the cylinder. You don't dump it straight in. So their port timings were the same as ours. But because ours had curvature, oh God, it made a huge difference. We uh, found that porting cylinders, we could give somebody an honest six to eight horsepower. So immediately within two months, was saying, ported cylinders, 12 horsepower. So people would say, well, why would we buy yours for, for eight horse when he's got 12? And I go, well, how many of his boats do you see in the winter circle? Well, you do have a point there. I said, well, he's, He's, he's putting ink on the paper, you know. We're, he doesn't have a dyno. How the hell does he know he's got yeah, 12 right, horsepower? Right, right. He doesn't even have a dynamometer. We do, I'll show you the dyno sheets. 
you know, you, you go crazy when you're up against that shit. Oh, yeah. Our twin car manifolds, when we first went to rubber-mounted carburetors, we were the first ones to do that, turning them down and putting them in snowmobile spigots. Yeah. And we had these beautiful billet intake manifolds that were perfect. The curves into the motor. Parts Unlimited was selling them. Uh, all the White Brothers, all those guys had our whole product line. Well, Parts Unlimited contracted somebody in China to cast um, you know, a knockoff of our manifold. In Christ, there were eighth to quarter inch steps where they didn't even line up, but they were $35 cheaper than ours. You won't believe bottom, how many yeah. of those cheap ones they sold because they'd say, well, fuck, it's the same thing, you know, they got the rubber boots on them and, you know, what's the difference? Well, the difference is two bolt lengths to the first car. I mean, exactly. what do you want? You got a zip tie still on the side. I do, on huh? your jacket, yeah. I shouldn't have Jack, gotten rid yeah. of it. No, oh, but old habits die hard. But I suck I, around there for me, huh? I preferred that because it just was what I was used to. Yeah. No, I get the helmet. Now off. that's funny. That's funny that I told you I used to have this the zip tie on there. You were looking there, on the wrong side. And it turns <laughs> out it's there all along. <laughs> Man, I'm ha I'm freaking happy with this now. With well, that, it, that it, last it, run, you can it freaking, You're happy. I'm happy. It freaking pulls. guys haven't seen we uh, have a sweet sponsor today we are not going thirsty today shock talk mobile You should go work at Blarney's. <laughs> Cheers to that Cheers, one, man. man. We got the shock top cups. Yeah, and the, the engine in his boat is about 160. One day, one, one day we, we uh, dynoed a motor and it was 165 and we were taking it down to the water, towing it with a six cylinder Ford Explorer. My wife turned to me and said, you realize that that 400 pound boat behind us has more horsepower than this pig? <laughs> this, this SUV we're driving, and it's true. It's gonna look like so. I'm not gonna worry about it either. I think it'll be authentic. Anyway. Mine too for that. It'll be one of one. That's for sure. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right here. Anywhere you want. All right. Here, oh Jesus Christ. Hey, oh yeah, off. I like it. No, no I no. like that. Keep going. Finish strong. Jesus Christ. I like it. Oh, All right. Awesome. Well, it's authentic. Hold on. You got to sign another ski, too, I think. Yeah, I yeah, think I want to have you sign mine, too. If I'll you're do down that. for it. If that's cool. Actually, can you wipe that off with spray clean and take a second shot at it? <laughs> I, got, I couldn't do better than that. Are, Are you serious? Yeah, well, that doesn't look here. like anything. Right? Look at all the real estate right here. There you go. Oh, that's, Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's probably good. even better. That's a good spot. That's good. That, and that's your original paint from your boat. Oh, my God. That's the real signature. Oh right yeah! Boom! That's a good one. Boom! Here you go. You got one more ski to sign. Yes, I do. All right. I had more foam than you. There you go. <laughs> Charlie, you mind signing my hood too? No, I certainly don't. Absolutely. When I when I got out of my car and saw it, my jaw dropped. Mint. It looked Which just is... like it, like it always did. Yeah, when I picked it up, it was bad. Was it? Oh man, it was rough. Was the motor trashed? 
No, the, the motor wasn't trashed and it actually ran and the guy's like, oh dude, you know, take it out to the river, run it, whatever. And I knew in my head when I went and picked this up because I didn't touch it. I texted you like when I was driving to go pick this up, I texted you off uh, Call Facebook. your phone, check it, bring these yeah. up. That's a lot of Cracker Jacks. But then, I, but then I had the guy, now I, I had the guy, the I'm not the same as you, people, I'm racing this next year. Well, well you're like at one point no, 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 you told next me, year, at next one point you told me you weren't gonna race it. I wasn't, yeah, at one point uh, I wasn't, but. That would have been cool. Next year, what I wanna do, I wanna get the boat 100%. Next year I wanna go to that race, it's by you. You're not coasting. Oh, I'd love to be there. I'd love to be there. I'll yeah. be there. Yeah, I'll be your tuner. I'll get show you. We'll, we'll get like, uh, matching shirts and we'll like just go back to the old days. Let's do it. I'll gladly do that. I'll gladly do it too. I, I just can't believe you were able to find some of that that stuff from out of the past. I mean, everything is right. The bars, the grips, the whole enchilada. Well, those are all your bars. That's that's all your oh, GT. Is, huh? That's okay. your bars. Your GT manufacturing buttons and the throttle. That's all yours. Well, then that guy must not have done anything. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. If I took this to the race, we're in good shape. Yep. You buy it. You buy it per pound. That thing. So that thing. If pound. you have reflexes, we'll that thing will get you the first. Boot. So I think we should leave it. Well, I think we should leave it the way it is. Well, okay. fix the yeah, but if you were able to make it better, I, yeah, I mean, you can always go back to the settings. I it's hope probably, you yeah, get a yeah, notebook going all, with yeah, all I do. your stuff I do. It's all you know, written down. You know, so then, the you know, take it out one day when you got a tack that works. This, it's so crazy See what that the peak we like, RPMs are yeah, at a burst, let's make it not a mile, mile but, you know, a quarter mile burst. <laughs> to match it. Uh, and then it was just like a random start idea. Start we playing with back different pop-off springs. See if that bottom end glitch will go away. And then it's like, only time. Yeah, also you seem like you're willing to devote time. But if you could get that thing to carburet cleanly from idle right up, who knows? Maybe you get thrown off one time I got to climb back and then the, board. the other day she's that like doing a little bit of difference could make a difference between you getting a couple guys at the end of oh, the yeah, race as opposed to them walking away from that serious next year we'll next year we're gonna how do you guys know each other